every 20 minutes. It's your statewide Alabama weathercast. Alabama's weather unbelievably pleasant for the end of August. We all know, we all know we can be baking in extreme heat this time of the year. Check it out. This is the sky cam at Florence. Some high clouds moving in. This is overlooking the campus of the University of North Alabama. They are in the upper 70s in the Tennessee Valley today. We'll take that all day. Here's a live look at the University of Alabama coming from the north end zone of Bryant Denny Stadium. This is University Boulevard. Looking north, the sky there is mostly fair, about 84. That was taken this evening about 5.30. And down south, this is the Point Clear Sky Cam overlooking Mobile Bay at the Grand Hotel. They're sitting at 80. The dew points higher down south, but even in South Alabama, those lower dew points in the drier air will gradually come in later tonight and tomorrow. These are high cirrus clouds, about 20, 25,000 feet off the ground. They're not necessarily rain producing clouds. Other than that, a very dry air mass in place across the state this evening. And of course, with a dry air mass in place, nothing on radar. Now tomorrow, a weak front, a secondary front comes in here and that might squeeze out a few showers, but probably not many. Uh, these are late afternoon evening temperatures. And again, we've got some upper 70s here in the northern part of the state. Coleman 77, Gadsden 79, Hamilton 79. However, if you're in southwest Alabama, I know it's still hot. For example, Chatham in Washington County hitting the mid 90s today. They're thinking, what cool air are you talking about? You'll see it gradually with time over the next couple of days. It's 92 in uh, Atmore. We have 91 degrees down in Houston County at Dothan. Here's what we're watching, that drier air pushing southward. Again, the lower dew points reaching South Alabama tomorrow. And by early Wednesday morning, most of North Alabama will see lows in the 50s. That is flirting with records for late August. And late this week, we'll have a chance of a few showers, possibly Thursday, Friday over the weekend. But at this point, it does not look like a major rain event. Take a look at modeling here overnight tonight. These are high clouds moving in uh, tomorrow morning at six o'clock. High clouds over about the northern half of the state that will likely keep temperatures in the low and mid 60s. South Alabama should be clear. Notice the few sprinkles cutting across the northern half of the state, but probably not that much rain. Much of this could evaporate before reaching the ground. That's three o'clock. A couple of sprinkles for North Alabama. The sky mostly sunny for the southern counties of the state. Six o'clock tomorrow evening. Same thing. The chance of a few sprinkles. Nothing really meaningful by early Wednesday morning that front pushing down to the south maybe a few sprinkles down here but again most places will likely be dry and then Wednesday the sky becoming sunny statewide humidity values low and again Wednesday morning many spots will be in the 50s very very close to record levels tropics are just incredibly quiet for the end of August. This is the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season. Typically in late August, somewhere there's at least one major hurricane. Nothing like that. The main development region, quiet. The Caribbean, is quiet. This used to be NBEST 99L. That's basically fizzled out. That will not develop. And the only system on the board is this one right here. This is a tropical storm named Fernand, which is northeast of Bermuda. That's moving out into the North Atlantic. No tropical issues for the Gulf at least for the next seven days. Here we go, the northern half of the state, amazingly pleasant, upper 70s tomorrow, mid 50s, Wednesday morning, a nice, nice preview of fall. Highs around 80 Wednesday, Thursday. And for the weekend, yes, there could be a few scattered showers. At the moment, it doesn't look like a major rain event. Probably the better chance of showers over the weekend on the western side of the state. And the same thing on Monday with highs in the low 80s. South Alabama, again, your numbers are coming down. We're seeing highs below 90 for the rest of this week. And again, the chance of a few scattered showers Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but certainly not a weekend washout. That's the Alabama Alabama forecast this evening and thank you for watching the Alabama Weather Network.